I was sitting in the portico in the evening, in uh, evening bhajans, and pretty close to Swami's interview room door. And I was indulging in my favorite sports of the last three days. You see what had happened? One gentleman had surreptitiously crept into my grandmother's good books, become a confidant, entered our various public charitable trusts, and he was happily helping himself to its assets, to its profits, incurring expenditures for himself, and I was upset. And I was feeling I should do something. I had given a letter to Swami, but of no avail. So I was doing the only thing I could do. I was boxing his ears visually. I would closed my mind, closed my eyes, and there I was bashing him up. And just as the full force of my biceps landed the metatarsals on his jaws, the interview room door opened and Swami came out. Gopal, sheepishly I got up. Shepherded by the Lord, I went in. Just Swami and I sat down and Swami said, Gopal, why are you doing this? Doing what, Swami? Why are you committing murder? Murder? No, Swami, I haven't raised a finger. No, you have. In accordance with the divine laws, whenever you think of an emotion or a thought, it is equivalent to action. Thrice you thought of killing him. Have you not? Yes, Swami. So three times into seven folds, that is the law of karma. The repercussions would be seven times more. You have committed 21 murders. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. I hadn't budged a finger and here I was incriminated of 21 murders and at the end of it that gentleman was happily laughing his way to the bank and I was the murderer. I couldn't understand the law. I felt it is highly unjust but there was no point complaining. I quickly caught Swami's feet. Swami helped me. I don't know what to do. And Swami said, you want to hit him? I said, wow, I'm granted spiritual pardon, a reprieve. Can I hit him, Swami? Yes. Oh, again I started bashing him up, this time more vehemently. The Lord of the universe was with me. And then the scene changed. I was on a cliff. I could feel the strong wind lashing out against me. I could see down below were the waves of the ocean hitting at very sharp, jagged rocks. They were like sharks' teeth jutting out of the ocean. And in front of me was the man I loved to hate. And I started hitting him. And as I gave him a vehement punch, I saw him lifting off the cliff, flying down. And now everything happened in slow motion, very, very slowly. And as I saw him going down, I heard Swami's voice, Gopal, what is in his hands? And I looked in his hands and I saw this cute bundle of joy in a lovely baby. But presently, it was petrified. 
it knew it was going down to its impending death and i couldn't handle it anymore i wasn't going to let that small baby die i at once lunged forward and i caught hold of this man just a second ago we were enemies fighting to death with swami's grace we were now locked in a loving embrace and i'm desperately trying to pull him back but the law of gravity was against me i was sweating with my glistening arms i was losing my grip i was losing my strength i wasn't able to hold it any longer my entire body was aching i had you know strained every nerve and sinew and when i thought that they are going to fall down i shouted swami help and at once a surge of love i felt from my heart coming out going towards them and the next moment i was strong and i pulled them over the precipice and we landed on the grass i was so happy and the next moment the scene dissolved and i was back in the interview room and swami said do you hate him now strangely i felt no hatred towards him i said no uh, do you like him i said yes do you love him i said i don't know about love but i like him i have nothing against him he says wonderful your karmic account with this person is over then swami explained if there is somebody you are angry with you hate all you have to do is think of something that invokes the feeling of love in your heart it could be thinking of god swami it could be a small child a puppy a kitten anything and with that love feel it in your body and engulf it to the person you hate and your karmic account with that person will start getting reduced